Hello, we are here in the beautiful St. Croix Falls Interstate Park in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. And um, my name is Adam Zenz. I'm a Liberty University distance education student. And I'm going to talk, present a speech on um, why um, in Wisconsin and um, elsewhere, but particularly in Wisconsin, why library users need to get more involved with interlibrary loan, voice their concerns, and also um, possibly initiate a program which is available to all um, area, all Wisconsin state residents uh, called a Patron Initiated Interlibrary Loan. Now walk with me if you will. Um, obviously, Patron uh, interlibrary loan is a very important um, library service that is delivered. Um, as a library director for nine years in rural northwest Wisconsin, um, I have seen personally an increase in this activity. Um, let me first define what we're talking about. Interlibrary loan is a service that's provided to library users when they have cleared the local resources, the uh, items that are available in their local online catalog, and they cannot find what they're looking for in that um, online catalog. So basically you go outside, you cover uh, resources throughout the entire state of Wisconsin and in some cases even beyond the state of Wisconsin um, into neighboring states which is Minnesota and North and South Dakotas. So what are we um, essentially talking about? Why is there an increase and why do library users need to get more involved with this? Well, um, distance education has really taken off and distance education students both in public and academic libraries need the, the service of interlibrary loan. Um, the one um, study which was done um, at Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington showed that when the college put up a put their master's programs online they had a dramatic increase of 149 percent in their interlibrary loan usage. Now that sh that's a very telling figure that shows that when you make these programs available online, which more and more colleges are, then you'll have increased usage of interlibrary loan services. At Gonzaga, they had increased, uh, they had an overburden on their staff, and they needed simple solutions, which they performed the study on. Also, health professionals are increasingly using interlibrary loan uh, as well. Um, a study uh, done, pilot study on the use of interlibrary loans by clinical staff by David Chamberlain um, points out that many um, health professionals and clinicians um, are using uh, these uh, the interlibrary loan for continuing education to finish their master's or a doctoral program so it's, it's very vital um, as we can tell. Now, one of the issues in Wisconsin um, that has ar arisen is that how do we make interlibrary loan services easier to convey from the librarian and the public libraries, the academic libraries, to the end users? Now, it used to be the traditional format is that the library user may have, um, on the internet, may notice resources that they cannot obtain through their local catalog. Well, what do they do? They have to go on the state catalog. They, they used to have to print off documents and then drive into their local library, hand the library, make the, uh, a, an official request. That is no longer necessary. Now, through a program um, which is being touted and developed more and more in Wisconsin called Patron Initiated Interlibrary Loan, you can perform these requests, the end user can make the request themselves virtually online and the without going into the library. They can just do it from a home or work internet enabled computer. So this is really a, a marvelous opportunity. It cuts down on the workload of the local librarians and it's much simpler for the end user to do rather than having to again print out these documents, bring them into the library and submit formal requests. So, in light of these things, the increased um, number of distance education students, more and more um, programs, both undergraduate and graduate, going online, um, and also the need, the increased usage of interlibrary loan services for these students, um, 
and also the fact that in Wisconsin we have this wonderful program and service available called Patron Initiated Interlibrary Loan. I would encourage you, the Wisconsin end user, to um, engage in this uh, service. Thank you very much.